How's it going everyone? Jesse Summers here. Um, this is going to be a real quick and easy video for those uh, just getting started out with night photography. Um, nighttime photography and Milky Way photography has really been taking off over the past year and a half or so. And this video is going to be a real uh, a quick and easy insight into editing these kind of photos and really make the, uh, really make the Milky Way pop. And you don't have to have a whole not, a lot of knowledge about Photoshop and Lightroom to use these methods. Just follow along and anyone should be able to do it. Okay, here's a uh, raw image. I took this in Yosemite National Park last year on the top of Sentinel Dome um, at about 8,000 feet, really, really great conditions. This glow in the bottom right-hand corner is actually light pollution from San Francisco. Um, I'm going to start off in Lightroom by bringing the exposure up until the night sky is a bit lighter and the Milky Way is about maybe plus one, plus one and a half EV. Scroll down and um, <clears throat> take my color noise and bring up the color noise reduction a bit and get my white balance to a point where the Milky Way really starts to look nice and colorful. This is too blue. As you can see over here, it loses some of the detail and color. As you go to the right, it starts looking good and I'd say this is too warm. So somewhere right about 3800 is, is usually good. Okay. So at this stage, I'm not going to uh, do anything else in Lightroom. I'm going to open it in Photoshop. I'm going to hit Command E. Hit open. Let's see if that works. My notoriously slow computer. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do three things to this image in Photoshop. First thing we're going to do is a levels adjustment. Second thing we're going to do is a curves adjustment. And third thing we're going to do is a, uh, a sharpening tool. So let's start off with the levels adjustment. Click right here on the levels adjustment layer. Okay, very good. And uh, what we're going to do is go from the red channel to the green channel to the blue channel and uh, bump up the midtone to add a bit of contrast. So how do I do that? Start by clicking on red. Take this line, bring it up just a bit. You can see it kind of gets this blue tinge. Go to green, take this line, bring it up a bit. Now it kind of gets this magenta tint. And then take blue, bring it up a bit. Okay, and now it kind of has this yellowish tint. And you go back through each of these and bring them up a little bit more or less to try to get a, a kind of a neutral color in the outer edge. So I'm going to just go back and forth between these and see what I can do. Okay, that looks that looks good to me. Maybe a little bit higher. Perfect. Okay, um, now I'm going to go to RGB and bring this in slightly just to bump the whites up just a bit. Okay, now I'm happy with my yellows. I'm done. Now I'm going to go to the curves adjustment and click on that. And I'm going to um, use the selector hand. So click on the, the hand here on RGB, click once in one of the darkest dust lanes, so right in here should be fine. And as you can see, it selected a point there, and now in one of the lighter dust lanes, right here. So we're going to create an S curve between these two points. So I'm going to click on this and drag it down just a bit, click on this and drag it up just a bit. And now you can see we've created more contrast in here. Let's take a look at what this did before after, before, after. Okay, great. Now the last thing I'm going to do is um, really get these dust lanes out of it, and uh, that's going to be using a, a tool called the Unsharp Mask. But first, before I do that, I have to create what's called a stamp visible layer, basically a, a um, image that has all these adjustments applied to it as, as a layer. I do this by hitting Command, Alternate, Shift, E on a Mac, pops up. Uh, I think it's Control Alt Shifty on a PC. Um, go to Filter, go to Sharpen, go to Unsharp Mask, and click on it. Now for this, we're going to want to uh, really do something that emphasizes the dust lane. So go to about a, a radius of maybe um, 90, 95 pixels or so. Uh, and really uh, pretty heavy on this, probably about 60%. 
is what, what, what works well for this shot, just so you can see a lot of contrast here around the edges of these dust lanes. And uh, hit OK. Now obviously this doesn't look fantastic right now, but there's still a couple things we're going to do. Hit Alternate and hit on this button, the, the circle and the square to add a layer mask. That way the adjustment we just made is hidden. And go ahead to the paintbrush, choose a white, white brush, and paint in on top of this black layer as such. So I'm dabbing with my paintbrush. And that applies the adjustment only to the Milky Way. It's still a bit harsh, so just simply take the opacity, bring it down just a bit. And if you want to, you can apply a Gaussian blur to this layer, about 150 pixels or so. And that's it. So it's looking pretty good. This is before we got started in Photoshop and after, before, after. Now obviously you can spend some more time with color adjustments and fine tune it a bit more, but this really is uh, how you can make a, the Milky Way in an image uh, go from being a bit dull and flat to really popping and vibrant. Thank you for watching and uh, check me out on Facebook, facebook.com slash JLS Fine Art Photos or look up my website jessysummers.com. I'm always happy to talk about various photography uh, related topic. So just go ahead and check me out online and, and uh, um, I'd love to hear back from you. If you have any questions, write about them in the comments and good luck.